You may not believe me, but there was a time before Simon Cowell ruled over all mankind. He was broke, penniless and destitute. Then he became one of the devil's recruits. He traded his soul for fame and fortune and lost the ability to spot a decent tune. He now has no trace of musical taste and is forced to wear trousers with a very high waist. The dark heart of Simon Cowell is fouler than Darth Vader's bowels. He joined the dark side and proudly vowed, I'll make the public buy girls allowed. If you disagree with Simon Cowell, Sharon Osborne will have you disemboweled. Louis Walsh waits until the pain abates, then makes you listen to Gareth Gates. But things are worse for Simon himself. The devil made him look like a smarmy smug elf. He wants gorgeous music to be commonplace, but wouldn't know a decent tune if it punched him in the face. Becoming a star is undignified. You'll be commodified and objectified. They'll poison your hair with peroxide, but it's the David Gwen a remix that leaves you mortified. Anyone can put the hard work in. What matters is your prowess at twerking. Who cares if you can sing most beautifully? Are your face and ass right for breakfast TV? The dark heart of Simon Cowell is fouler than Darth Vader's bow. You can find new bands on music blogs, but Simon cares more about Pudsey the Dog. The dark heart of Simon Cowell is fouler than Darth Vader's bow. The true horror of his plan unfurls. He plans a comeback for the cheeky girl.